Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to set up the chat relay mod on your server. This tutorial will be for T-Shark, but we've also done a video for T-Mod Loader, so if you're interested in that, make sure to click the link in the description. Firstly, to be able to download this mod with T-Shark, you'll need to have a T-Shark server set up. To do that, you'll want to head to the server.pro website. Then, you want to make sure you have a VPS server in order to follow the next few steps. If you don't have one, we've made a tutorial on how to purchase one, so all you have to do is click the i in the top right if you're interested. However, if you've already got that all set up, head to the service control panel. Then, you want to click on create a service on the left. On the service drop down list, make sure you have Terraria selected. Then, under the type list, make sure you select T Shark. When that's done, you can choose whatever version you want and the world name and press install. You should wait a couple seconds for the service to finish fully booting up, but when it's done, click on it and head to the shell tab. This is where we're going to create a world. It's crucial to do this, otherwise if you try to join your server, it'll get stuck on loading since no world has been made. To make a new world here, press N and hit enter. Do the same once more. Here you can pick whether you want your world to be small, medium or large. I want a small world, so I'll be typing 1 and pressing enter. Here you do the same again. I want a classic server, so I'll be pressing 1 and hitting enter. I want the world evil to be crimson, so I'll press 3 and hit enter. Now that we're done with world customization, we can choose a world name. We then also have the option of entering a seed, but if you want a random one, just press enter. After you do that, the server will begin generating all of the world's content, so sit tight and make sure not to exit out of the tab. Lastly, when the world generation is complete, it'll ask what world you want to actually put onto the server. As of now, all we did was create a world. If you want to generate another, you can do so, but if you're happy with the world you just created, simply press 1 and hit enter. Then, you'll be able to select the max players, but you can hit enter if you want it to be 16. You can choose your own server port number or hit enter to get the default one. It'll also ask you if you want to automatically port forward. Here, you can choose what you please once again. Finally, it'll ask if you want to set a server password, but since I don't want one, I'll just be hitting enter one last time. After that, the server will quickly set up all the options you selected, and that's it, the server's done! Now that the T-Shark server is set up, we need to make sure that the relay mod is installed on it. To do that, you'll have to go to this page. As always, the link will be in the description. When you're there, scroll down and click on the T-Shark zip file for it to download instantly. Before proceeding, it's recommended you drag it to your desktop and extract the zip so it's easier to continue with the tutorial. When that's done, head back to Server Pro and into your server. Then go into your services file folder. There you'll open up the plugins folder and that's where you're going to drag in the extracted folder from before. It should take little to no time to upload so when that's done, quickly restart the server to ensure everything takes effect. We're not done just yet. The last step is to set up Discord to Terraria Relay and that requires a few extra steps to get it working. Firstly, you'll need to make sure you have a Discord account. If you don't already, we'll leave a link down below to Discord where you can create one. However, the next step is to visit the Discord developer portal link. You can also find that in the description. Then you can click on new application and name your bot. Keep in mind you have the option of changing the name later if you decide to. When you're done, click create and you should be redirected to the general information page. Press on the bot tab, click add bot and then yes, do it. Now that your bot is successfully created, make sure to look for the token section. Then click the click to reveal token button to reveal your discord token. Copy that token and quickly set the public bot to off so strangers can't randomly add your bot to their discord server. Afterwards, head back to Server Pro, into your server and then the Files tab on your service. Open up the Worlds folder and then the Terraria Chat Relay folder. When these files pop up, open the Terraria Chat Relay file and paste the bot token into the text. Make sure to save the file and then restart the service to ensure everything works as intended. Back on Discord, click on the OAuth2 page, go into the URL generator section and from there, select the bot option. Then make sure to select all the permissions I have selected on the screen. When you've done that, copy the link. You then want to head back to Discord. This is where you're going to create a server so you can use your bot. Simply press the plus button and customize the server as you wish. 
When you're done, you want to make sure the server has a text channel for the in-game chat. All you have to do is right click on the dashboard at the side and add a channel. When that's done, paste the link you copied earlier into your browser at the URL bar at the top and enter. This is where you're going to assign the bot to the server you just created. Returning to Discord, head into your server and click user settings on the bottom left. Head to the advanced section and simply make sure to turn developer mode on. Then close out of those settings and open up server settings. We'll be creating a bot role for the server. Click on roles, create a role, name it whatever you want and then on permissions make sure to scroll down to the bottom to give the bot role admin. This is crucial as it'll give the bot all the permissions needed. Next step is to right click the in-game chat text channel you've created and copy ID. This will only be shown if you've got developer mode on, so if it's not showing up, it's because it's turned off. After copying the ID, head back to your server pro server and open up the Terraria JSON file backup. Find the line saying channel IDs and paste the ID below in the place of zero. Then you should quickly restart the server to make sure the changes take effect. Last step before we start up the Terraria server is to go back to our Discord server, right click the bot and give it the bot role we created earlier. Now we want to make sure everything is working as intended so quickly open your Terraria game. When that's opened, head to multiplayer and join via IP. When it asks for your IP address, you can obtain that by going to your server's main dashboard and copying the host name. Then, paste that into the game and press enter. When it asks for the server port, you simply have to head to your service and copy the server port number on the dashboard. Paste that into your game and press enter once again and it should load you into your server. Now that you're in game, you can type out anything to test if the chat relay mod is set up properly. After, go back to your Discord server and into the in-game chat text channel. There you should see the bot saying that you joined the server as well as showing the message you typed in game. It also works vice versa, if you type something on discord and then head back to your Terraria game it should also come up in chat. If it comes up for both then you have followed these steps correctly and chat relay is successfully installed on your server. Well that's it for this video, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.